Elena says, she's taken far. How are you incorporating the task-based simulation practice into the nonstop MCQs? I sit for FAR in August. I want to make good use of my 16 study days remaining. I read the chapters, looked at the notes, and I'll be copying notes this weekend. I'm training at a 62, which is much better than two weeks ago, but I'm getting nervous about the TBS component. All right, let's back up. You need to get that 62 trending into like the to, into the 80s. So like, and um, and th and that's ignoring the, the TBS component. So. Um, for FAR, you know what your weak area is. Like governmental accounting, not for profit accounting, it's it's something. Bonds, like like you know what your weak point is and like what keeps you awake at night, so to speak. So you you really have to get that up into that trending up into like the eighties. Um, and then so how do you tackle the sims? Different people have different takes on simulations. I you know I I'm not a fan of doing it, but I've um, I'm I'm old and um, entrenched in my ways. But I try to be a little bit flexible here. So I used to say like 80/20, and now I'm more like 70/30 MCQ to Sims. And even though it's like 50/50 on the exam, I get it. But I would do the Sims during your um, the A that all comes together phase, and that's what I would do the Sims. Um, if you have some extra time in the non-stop MCQ phase, that's fine. But I would, so in your final review phase, maybe spend like a long Sunday afternoon just going after, going, it's like four days out from your exam, just hitting your simulations. That's what I would do. So like don't ignore it, but I also don't think you should um, like majorly focus on it.